This is a, uh, a heart rate kit, and mm -hmm. so this is taking both an EKG and, and a heart uh, pulse uh, detect. This is actually running an AI model. Okay. Uh, so we're doing this uh, with actually very low utilization of the CPU, and we're doing it at very, very low power. And we just have a demo here where you can actually track your heart rate and your EKG, which has been interesting, seeing the differences in people's heart rates uh, as they come by. Oh, and so uh, what's the sensing mechanism here for the... Um so you actually have this plate sensor here, okay. and then there's the uh, uh, the, di the LED here that's actually doing uh, looking at through your skin, it's actually oh, okay. taking the heart rate. Nice. And so it can kind of d determine um, the the pulse uh, by taking um, measurements uh, using the light diffraction uh, as it uh, captures it back in the device. And this one is you're touching on both sides, so it's taking a measurement from one finger through your body to oh, the okay. other finger nice. to get an actual EKG. Cool. And um, I think it's probably worth highlighting that uh, all of this AI stuff is running on the chip, isn't it? It's yes. not, it's, there's no up and down. That's right. Yeah, it's running on device, and this is one of the things that we're promoting. With our low power, we're able to actually do more on-device processing without compromising battery life. So that assists with, uh, obviously, use cases where you want that real-time yeah. aspect, but also privacy. So we're not taking the data and shipping it to cloud to do the processing. We're doing it on device where it really belongs. Well, for low power processing, high-tech high graphics are for many, many applications. Look no further than Ambic.